and welcome to Bees and Tea Stitching. I'm your host, Sebastian, and at least for the moment, we do have Selena. Uh, so, from a gray and cloudy and windy day, welcome to anybody who is new, and welcome back to uh, you guys who have watched me before. Um, we are getting the outskirts of the remnants of Hurricane Ian here, so it is a cold and uh, windy and cloudy day. Um, so right now I'm just um, enjoying myself with some tea, my cat, and probably some stitching later. So it'll be an alright day, I think. So this is my floss tube. Um, I talk about my stitching, any sort of haul, stitchy kindness, which I had this week. Um, my cat, and just, you know, was it like the universe and everything? No, no, wait, that's stitchy witch, sorry. Um, but yeah, just a little bit of everything. So, um, for life updates this week, not much is really going on. Um, I've got some kind of personal things that are, that are happening right now, so, you know, it's kind of crappy, but, um, you know, it is what it is. So I'm just dealing with it as best I can. Um, that's really been kind of dominate, dominating what's been going on this week. So um, really hasn't been, you know, anything else that's been happening that's interesting. Sorry, I keep looking out to the side because I keep watching all the trees go. Uh, nothing in my backyard. Nothing that need that I personally need to worry about. Uh, we do have a tree in our front yard. But I'm not really worried about it. So, um, but yeah, I'm just watching the tall trees go whoop. So, so yeah, I'll try not to get distracted. But this is me we're talking about, so I can't promise. Uh, this is probably going to be fairly short. Once again, I don't have a whole lot of stitching. I don't have any haul this week. Like I was, was saying last week, um, I do have a LNS retreat. I thought it was in October, but I think it's actually in November. Um, and I just bought a whole bunch of things from Expo. So I'm probably not going to be getting a whole lot of haul um, for a little bit. But we'll see. You know, who knows? A good, you know, a cool project comes in and, you know, that's it. So uh, also, so I'm, I know I used to talk about my tea. So this is my favorite um, B cup that... Uh, Try not to sip too loudly. As I, I got it, um, oh God, I can't remember how many years ago. Years and years ago from the, um, from the world market. Um, and for my tea this, this week, it is the last one of this. This has been one, I wonder how the box smells. The box still smells good. Uh, I found this at a little, kind of a European, Russian sort of, um, European market sort of thing, just like in a random strip mall in my town. Um, and so I, I just bought it on a whim because it sounded good. These things are amazing. Um, I guess Curtis is the brand name. I think it is Russian. Yeah, so Curtis is the brand name. And they come in these little, um, little, they're like, um, like little satchels with, with holes, like almost like cheesecloth or whatever, uh, in little pyramids. So that's actually what they look like. And uh, it's like blueberries and blackberries and... Oh, somebody told me before what some of these other berries were. Um, I don't remember. Anyway, but you can see the four types of berries on the front there. But anyway, so this is really good. I would highly recommend it. Um, if, obviously, if you like um, um, fruity sort of, you know, um, fruity sort of teas. But it's very, very good definitely definitely worth it all right so I guess let me go ahead and start uh, we start with the comments I love comments I read every single one I respond to every single one um, unfortunately for whatever weird reason I got two comments from YouTube that one was 11 months old and one was a year old and I had not seen them before so I don't know what's going on. So to Carla Bean Crafty and Michelle Bendy Stitchy, I apologize that these took so long to respond to. YouTube didn't tell me. I mean, that's all there is to it. I, I, you know, I didn't know that I had these comments. So, But yeah, they finally decided to release them to me. Why? Who knows? 
the YouTube's God smiled on me? I don't know. Anyway, so let me go ahead and get to the comments. Uh, first off was Debbie Sisk. She said, love all the fun haul. Uh, thank you. Yeah, it was, I got some good stuff there. Uh, that was all, um, you can watch the video last week. It was all the good stuff from, um, Expo that happened, uh, late August, I think, early September, I forget. But, uh, yeah, so that was fun. I finally got to go to my LNS because last weekend was a retreat right by there. Also have all the hall. Awesome. Um, yeah, so, um... I, so you had a retreat at your LNS. That's, that's super cool. Um, you know, as I said, we're going to have one at mine not too long from now. Maybe a month? Month and a half? <sighs> Excuse me. Um, so i am be curious as to what kind of stuff you, uh, you got there. Any cool patterns? Any cool, um, um, fabrics? Anything like that? So thanks. Appreciate it. That's... Like I said, I always appreciate all the comments. Uh, Linda Figatola says, Hey, Sebastian. Hey, Linda. Uh, great seeing you and Kitty today. I'm nowhere near halfway finished my Love More whip, but it's coming along. Um, yeah, you know, sometimes she likes to stick around. I always, okay. I always enjoy it when she's up here. Why are you giving me that look? Anyway. Um, yeah, the uh, Move Forward in Love. I really want to work on it, but I've been really super focused on Tiki Type right now. Uh, excuse me, I want to yawn, but I'm trying not to. Um, and so that's really kind of been my focus. So once I get done with Tiki Time, I need to start working on both finishing the page for... I mean, I am kind of working on these anyway, but I need to work harder on finishing the page for You Belong to Me and then finish up um, Move Forward. Because I've seen a lot of people have already finished, like, long ago. And there are some beautiful finishes out there. So, I really want to get that one done. I mean, I don't think I'm going to do anything with it. But, you know, still. Um, Alright, the Spooky Dolly says, hi. Hi. Uh, how do you keep your Legos free of dust uh, once fully constructed? To be honest, I'm pretty lazy about that. I really don't dust them. Um... Part of it is laziness, and part of it is a lot of them, especially like the Sanctum Sanctorum that has a lot of pieces, and also the um, uh, the uh, Ghostbusters Tower back there, which, you know, is above Selena's head right now. There you go. Look, really? Hi. Anyway, uh, those have a lot of kind of sticky outy parts, and those would be really hard to uh, dust without breaking it every time. Um, there have been a few that I've worked on, uh, that I have dusted out. You can't see it because the table of the cat's in the way, but I have, uh, Benny's spaceship, spaceship, spaceship from the first Lego movie back there. And what I did was I took a paper towel and, like, barely wet it. I mean, like, the least you can wet it. And just wipe it down like that, and it works well. So, that's what I would suggest, is a barely wet paper towel. Um... I was going to say something soft like a Swiffer might work. But again, I think it's going to be too big and gangly and get, it's going to break a lot of parts. So, yeah, I'd, I'd recommend a paper towel. You could... No, I don't think a dry paper towel would work. I think you need just a tiny bit of wetness on it. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, Nora in Oklahoma. I'm assuming that is. Nora and OK. Um... I always enjoy your videos, and your stitching is lovely. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. And my washing is done. Sorry about that. <laughs> I forgot that I had my washing in the background, so hopefully that was not too loud. Uh, the floss color on the Egyptian piece is beautiful. Again, I appreciate it. Thank you. That is, I believe, silks for you, but I don't remember what color. Um, I think when I first talk about it, which would have been, well, I started it in January, so I probably mentioned it then. Um, I probably mentioned what the color was, so I might need to go back and, and watch that and see if I say, because I do not honestly remember what the color was. But I'm 90% sure it's silks for you. It's just, if you've never used silk before, it's so soft, and it, it doesn't, it moves through the holes really easily, and... 
Um, it doesn't tangle nearly as much. I mean, it will tangle some. I mean, silk is really, really nice to work with. It's just, obviously, it's more expensive. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry, guys. Um, it's more expensive than, you know, um, than regular floss. So, that's why a lot of times... Now, if you buy it in a hank like that, um, it's actually pretty affordable. But then, you know, it's harder to work on something that has a whole bunch of different colors. And you have to get a whole bunch of different silks. But if you get something that just has one or two silk colors, um, then, you know, um, you can get a pretty good deal. But, yeah, anyway, so that's that's really cool. Um, let's see. Oh, love seeing your new purchases, especially since I don't have an LNS. The fact about otters and bees were great. Thank you. Um, so there are... Um, you know, there's obviously a lot of people who don't have an LNS, and what I always suggest is to find your favorite ONS, which is Online Needleworks Shop. Um, I, in the past, would have suggested uh, Fire Poppies, but they unfortunately closed. I mean, for a good reason, they just wanted to retire, so, you know. But, um, what I would suggest, because she is a friend of mine, and I know um, her business is new, um, so Pam from Stitching in the Land of Good Enough, um, and, and I will put the link down below here. Um, she has a brick, she just opened a brick and mortar store, maybe not quite a year ago. I want to say it was maybe late, late last year. And, um, she also, you can also order from her website. And so I would definitely recommend, um, you know, her, um, I, I always like to support the smaller, you know, online needle shops, so. And she's very cool. She's very good about shipping, all that good stuff. So, definitely recommended. Um, oh, yeah, and I, I might try to throw in artifacts randomly. Um, the bee facts I look up because, you know, I mean, I know some about bees, but, you know, uh, I don't know that much. So, uh, but artifacts I might just throw in, just the things that I know. So, but yeah, thank you. Uh, let's see, so this, this is the first one that was 11 months old, so again, Carla being crafty, I do apologize. Um, hey there, I've been really, uh, enjoying watching your videos. Thank you very much. Uh, I don't comment very often since I usually watch my TV, but, um, yeah, actually I do the same thing. Um, so I have this monitor that I'm recording on, and then I have this other monitor over here, which I'm looking at my comments, that's why I'm looking over here, and then, excuse me, I have a... HDMI plugged into the back of my computer that goes to my TV. So my TV is technically my third monitor. So, there you go. Um, so yeah, I, I'll a lot of times watch Floss Tube on the, on the big TV. You know, big TV, so we don't really have a huge TV. But anyway, but uh, yeah, so I know, I know what you mean. Um, I had to toot my horn just a bit because I have a fabric dyeing video that uses liquid writ in a very easy and not messy way. Um, several people have commented that it's been helpful, so maybe I'll also help you on your quest for your perfect color. Awesome. Thank you very much. I will, abs I have it marked already to, uh, to watch. Um, I will most definitely watch it, and I will most definitely give it a try. I don't have any writ yet, so I'll have to go grab some. Um, but yeah, it looks like, um, I was looking at it, and, um, it looks like you do the dyeing in a pickle jar. So... I may actually have to go get a pickle jar or mason jar as well when I get the rip. Um, but yeah, that looks, um, you know, like I said, I just, um, took a really quick, like, look at the, you know, the still chart of the video. And, um, so I will definitely give that a look. Thank you very much. So, uh, once I get that, uh, once I get that done, because I believe I've got some white in my stash that I can use. I'll double check. Um, but once I get that dyed, I will absolutely put it up on my videos, uh, so you guys can see how good or bad I did. We'll see. It won't be because of your video, it'll be because of me. But anyway, but yeah, thank you very much. I, I do appreciate that. Um, and the other one that was a year old, and again, I apologize, Michelle, uh, was from Michelle, Betty Stitchy. And, um, I, I, she must have talked about, um because she used to live in Hawaii, so I think they might still visit there. Or maybe this is when they lived there. Um, she had been talking about a, like, this canned 
guava drink sort of that she had um that she had had there and it looked really good and it sounded really good so she actually gave me a link to it uh which I will also put down in the, in the notes so yeah but uh yeah so um I appreciate that um it's the the Amazon link is not the cheapest um so I'm going to see if maybe I can try to find it locally or maybe get one of my grocery stores to like order it um but if not, then I'll go ahead and I'll order it from the, from Amazon because uh, it sounds like it's some sort of a passion fruit guava drink, which sounds amazing. So, yeah. Uh, all right. So that is the comments. Um, again, thank you guys. Um, I, I appreciate any sort of um, comments. You know, even if you guys just want to say hi or something. You know, any sort of constructive criticism. Any questions? I love questions. Um, you know about whatever my cats or or my cat I should say you're just one cat right yeah uh, my cat or my stitching or whatever you know mm. all right yeah I put less sugar in that and I can definitely tell but I need to start drinking my tea with less sugar so I'll be all right I'll survive it's still very good um all right so I guess let's go ahead and get to the stitching finally um, so, no new starts, um, no finishes, no FFOs. I'm getting close on a couple things. Um, right now, unfortunately, the Postal Service has lost the, um, uh, the, the finishing that, um, well, they didn't, they didn't lose it, they misplaced it. Anyway, whatever. Um the stitching the uh, finishing that Oliver did for me so I should have had that to show you guys this week I'm really hoping I'll have it for next week but I don't know so you know I have made my phone calls Oliver's made his phone calls uh so they're you know they're working on it so hopefully we can figure out what's going on with that and get it back so yeah Hopefully next week I'll have some FFOs to show you. There won't be... I didn't finish them. Um, but, yeah. Anyway. So, yeah. That's that. That's another reason why I'm just... Yeah. It's been a little bit of a of a rough week as well. That's one of the many things that's been going on. But anyway. Happier thoughts. Happier thoughts. If I can, okay. I'm going to throw my paperwork around. That's alright though. So. The first... The first one is Modern Folk Embroidery, Move Forward in Love, Pride Style 2022. This is the one that I have done the least on this week, so I figure I'll do that one first. So that's the whole thing. Um, I'm working on this bottom part here. All I have are these little motifs at the bottom, and I'll be all set. So, um, everything is called for except for the outline and the little branches here, so I'll show you. Like, this um was a rainbow silk and these are a random dead thread that i have but yeah so it's getting there um all i managed to do was a little bit of yellow last night and a little bit of yellow down here that's it so not a whole lot of moving forward in that one um uh, but like i said i really was working a lot harder on tiki so um you know that's kind of that's my focus because i really want to get it done and this is Winter Solstice by Bestitch Me, uh, 18 Count Ada, just so you know. Um, so it's got the pretty, it's a kind of a purple base with a little bit of pinks and blues. Although, honestly, they're not really showing up in the video as much as they do. It's, it's, a, it's mostly subtle with some little pops of color, but it's mostly, um, mostly a more subtle model, which is fine. You know, sometimes... Sometimes you want subtle, sometimes you don't. So, uh, yeah. Alright, let's see if I can... Okay, let's see if I can get this bad boy back in here. Come on, buddy. There you go. Alright. Alright. Now, the second one, I also didn't do a whole lot with. But maybe... Oh, excuse me, it's hard. I think this change of weather is screwing me up. But, uh, I did a little bit more of this one. Not a whole lot. Okay, let's not take all the thread with me. Shall we? 
This is all nice and folded. Long dog samplers, you belong to me. You're going to be seeing this one for years, so get used to it. Uh, still working on this top part. Still haven't quite made that page finish yet, but uh, this is Papyrus by Fabric Flare. Um, I think 18? Either 16 or 18. I'm not 100% sure. I think it's 18, though. Um, but, yeah, not a whole lot. Just working on... Um, I think I just came down and am working on this little branch here. So not a whole lot has been done. Um, I think maybe like part of a frond and then the, the other, starting the other frond. Ah, my nose is crazy. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is all I've got left. But, um, you know, there's still a little bit there. There's still some, some birds that I'm going to have to, you know, skip around to do. So it's, let me see. Let me look at what uh, what it looks like here. Yeah, I mean, it's still a bit. Yeah. All right. Sorry, I just heard a noise. All right. So yeah, I mean, it's more the tree and a little bit of the bird is kind of what I have. There we go. What I have left to do over here. So it's kind of that, that sort of part. But yeah, so I mean, I could probably do it in an evening, um, if I had a long evening. Mm -hmm. Like uh, tonight will be um, our Friday night Zoom, so I will be stitching for a while tonight. But I really want to finish Tiki, so I probably will not be working on that unless I happen to finish Tiki, and then I'll move over to it. Um, all right, so this is the one I've been working the most on, the one that I really, really, really want to finish. This is Ink Circles, Tiki Time. There it is. That's still super cool. Uh, one of the people at my LNS actually finished this one, and I've had this one forever, but seeing her finish honestly was what made me say, okay, screw this, I really just want to get this started. So I have to thank her for that one. Even though she doesn't watch this. So, this is a unknown, eh, probably 18 count. Ada, possibly a fox and a rabbit, but I'm not 100% sure. Alright. So, I have been working, I finished up all the green. That was the big thing. And now all I have left is the onion skim. So, I worked on him first. Uh, then him, and am I in the middle one now? Where am I? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm at the bottom of, of the second one over here. Sorry, I haven't quite finished him yet. But, yeah, so once I finish him, and then all I have to do is that large... Why, why I went to do the last one, the largest one last, I don't know. Because, apparently, I just hate myself. But, um, but yeah, so that is it. Once I get that onion skin done, it is done. Um, and I am talking with, with Oliver also, um, I'm probably going to end up giving this to a friend. Um, so I was trying to figure out a good way to finish it without, finish it in a tiki sort of way without, um, without just, um, you know, framing it, um, something more interesting. Uh, also I did redo... I, you guys probably won't be able to tell, but I redid the white because the one that they had there was like, it looked like this, he looked like he had weird peaches sort of teeth, and that was just not cool. So I just used, I think 386, what was it, 3865? Is that the white? I always forget what it's called, which one it is. Uh, because now I want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. If you guys are old enough to remember that, then, you know, that's... <laughs> you're old like me. Uh, well, I can't find it. Screw it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Nope, that's not it. Okay, never mind. I can't find it, so it's not that important. Never mind. It's whatever that, whatever that white is, and I'll figure it out later. Uh, yep, so I, I really want to say that that is one of the... Fox and Rabbits that they were so wonderful about sending me. 
Um, but I don't know because it wasn't it wasn't labeled, so I don't know for sure. Um, all right, so that is actually all of my stitching. Not too bad. Um, honestly, probably for the next week or two, it's probably mostly going to be those three again. Um, oh, hey, it's starting to rain. All right then. Anyway, um, so. Um, hold on one second. I do apologize. Okay, hopefully that was okay. I had to pause to sneeze there. Okay, sorry about that. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, for the next few weeks, I'm probably going to be working on the same ones. Hopefully that's not going to be too boring for you guys, because, you know, I really want to get some finishes with those three. Um, once I finish the Tiki, um... I need to bring cat magic back into the fold because I need to work on that one. Um, that was supposed to be a, um, I think it was with Marumi Crafts, I believe. Um, well, I can look at my, at my list here. God, now I'm going to have to sniffle because I sneezed. I hate that. So annoying. Uh, oh, that was, that was my birthday Wow, that's terrible. Um, yeah, my, my birthday cell was a cat cell. And so I have not really been giving um, cat magic enough love. And it's also kind of good for spoopy season, so. All right. So, yeah, you know, expect at least some of the same, maybe next week. Um, hopefully finish and hopefully, 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 um, some FFOs up. If they get in, they don't have five of them. If you guys remember from a little while ago where I did um, two or three nights, I think, I ended up doing like five little um, Halloween ones. Um, if we do get our Halloween tree up, I will definitely take pictures of it. Uh, it does not up yet because it's not even October and I don't have those yet. Uh, so, excuse me. Mm, sorry about that. So, uh, yeah, that's... um. That's kind of the plan. Um, all right. So, as I said, there is no haul, but I got some incredible stitchy kindness today. Um, honestly, I've been having a bit of a bad day, so it's funny because D, they talk about in their video where a lot of times they've been kind of having a hard time and they'll get something from somebody, like a, you know, some sort of stitchy kindness, um, you know, just at the right time, and, you know, let's face it, I'm, I'm a lot smaller, so, you know, that's, that's not as big of a thing with me, but, um, because, you know, I don't have as much, uh, I, I don't have as many watchers, which is fine, it's, I'm not complaining, um, so that's not as big of a thing with me, it doesn't happen as much, I should say, um, uh, but today, these literally came, like, an hour ago, maybe two hours ago, and the time was great because it's been a little bit of a rough day and I, I really, really appreciate it. So it's actually a really cool uh, postcard. Um, I don't know if they, I mean, I guess they know I like Strange, but so uh, I guess they know I'm a comic nerd overall. But it's DC, Crisis on Infinite Earths, which I know that my husband will also appreciate. Um, he is more, even more of a uh, uh, comic nerd than I am. And then a cute little note on the back, which, you know, is fine. I'm not going to read that out. Um, but yeah, so D just sent me a couple of really cool pieces of fabric. Um, so uh, they and I are going to do a... Oh God, this house is going to start tomorrow. Mm, better <laughs> better uh, start uh, um, stitching up there. But um, it's going to be... Oh, what was it? Like a black... Wait. Oh, what was the... Shoot, I'm gonna have to go back and look at their uh, video uh, to see to see what it was, but it was some sort of spooky sal for for October. Was it spooky bird sal? Maybe I think it was spooky bird sal. I'll double check though. Um, and so um, we were talking and uh, we were chatting on Instagram and you know, we were deciding what I wanted, what we were both going to stitch and. Um, I, I had mine chosen, and uh, they were like, oh, I have, but I said I wasn't, it, and the 
what it was done is it was done on a purple. And I was like, I don't know if I have a really good purple for that. I'll have to check. And they're like, ooh, well, let me, um, let me dye you something. I'm like, oh, okay. I mean, I'm not going to say no. So, I mean, come on. So, um, this is just, oh my god, I love. So, that is, I'm not sure what the little extra piece is, but look at this. Though, is that not awesome? It's showing, it's showing a little bluer than it is. It's, it's showing a little cooler than it is. But, I mean, look at this. It's just the, ah, it's beautiful. I love it. Yeah, it's not, it's not really showing all that true to color, sadly. Let me try to put something, oh, God, this I'm trying to find something I can put behind it. Uh, oh, wait. Let me try to put this behind it. Ah, uh, my nose is driving me nuts. Okay, let's see if this helps at all. Ah, uh, that helps a little bit actually. Yeah, that's better. But yeah, look at the look at the variegation of that. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. And I got a cool little bonus, which I think they said, okay, this is a 14 count. So this is 18, which is good. That's, uh, um, I I'm good really for any kind of Ada. So, um, this is a 14 count. Uh, they were saying a, uh, they thought a black cat stitch would look killer on it. So look at this though. Those colors! Oh my gosh, that huge pop of blue in like the maroon, oh not maroon, but the uh, uh, magenta. That's um, that's pretty close. This one's a little closer to color, but oh my gosh, that is crazy. I'm gonna have to figure out like how do I want to use that pop of blue. So I don't know. I'm gonna pop of blue, not pop of blue, but pop of blue because southern accent. But yeah, I mean, God, I just, I can't stop staring at this. It's like, oh, it's so cool. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. That is awesome. Um, and like I said, I will be stitching online tonight. So at midnight, I may start, um, I may start on the cat. Um, God, I got to double check and make sure I have all the colors I need for it. Um, unfortunately it is a PDF. So I can't show you guys. I will try to remember to link it. And I don't have it here on my desktop. So I cannot. I do not remember what it was. I will have to look it up again. Um, yeah, I'll have to look it up. I don't remember what it was. Uh, I may look back in my in my, in my my um, conversation. Because I know I mentioned it. Um, yep. So that's, that's amazing. Thank you. And again, that, that just came at a great time and I, I really appreciate it. And I love the, I love the nerdy postcard. <laughs> so that nerdy postcard may go somewhere. Uh, it may go next to my comics. I don't, I don't know that I've ever shown my comic wall. Maybe I should, but anyway, um, I do have some, uh, I think I've mentioned it before. I do have some Dr. Strange comics, some old Dr. Strange comics, um, that have been uh, gifts from, I think one was from Paul, my husband, I should say. Uh, and one was, uh, two, the other two, I believe, were from my brother who collects comic books. Um, but yeah, they're, they're pretty cool. And they're, they're in the little shadow box and they're out of the direct sunlight, obviously. And so, yeah. But yeah, anyway, um... I guess that is, wow, you have been, you've been really, really still. Are you just sleeping with your, are you sleeping in a loaf? I can't tell. Let me see. Let me see your eyes. Anyway, I don't know what she's doing. Anyways, um, I think all we really have is the of the weeks and this, oh, there you go. Now I see you. Uh, and this is going to be a fairly short one. I'm sorry if I, if I did wake you up, I do apologize. So, anyways. You just do your kitty thing. Uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just thinking out loud. But yeah, that's that's um. We'll just do those. So sorry, I'm scrolling back through here. So uh, I always do a stitchy website, a non-stitchy website, 
and then my B fact, and then I'll, I'll think if maybe I can throw in an artifact somewhere. Um, so, um, and if you guys have any suggestions for uh, a website, a Stitchy website or a non-Stitchy website, I am more than happy to, um, you know, to go ahead and put them in as well. So, um, you know, just, just tell me and I'll go look them up and, um, you know, see if we can, if we can put them in uh, sometime, you know, in the next video. All right. Words apparently are just words today. So, um, for the Stitchy website, it's going to be Words and Saucery, which I love the name. Uh, again, this is an Etsy site just because I've, I don't really know a whole lot of non-Etsy sites that I haven't already mentioned, although maybe I'll start going back through them just because it's been a while, um, you know, for people who are newer. Um, but yeah, so it's, um, there is a little caveat there. Um, there is language on that, on, in some of the stitching. Um, but it's, it's mostly, it's not a whole lot on there, um, but it's really pretty kind of nerdy and, um, irreverent sort of, um, I want to say black stitch, but it's not necessarily in black, but, um, um, but yeah, you know, that, that kind of, you know what I'm talking about, the black work, black work, that's what it's called, sorry. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's black work, but not necessarily in black. And it's a lot of stuff. There's some nerdy stuff and some um, language sort of stuff. You know, some like dirty language sort of stuff. Um, but it's really, really cool. And um, I have not done any real black work yet. Um, so I would like to. And I mean, it's just a lot of, um, it's just a lot of backstitching. I mean, that's all there is to it. So, and I can backstitch, you know, without a problem. So I don't think I would have any sort of a problem with, with, um, with black work, but I don't know. I just, for whatever reason, I haven't picked one up yet, but, um, her stuff, I guess it was her stuff. I think it's her, sorry. Um, is, is really cool. So I might have to pick up one of theirs. Um, the non situ website. I, I was actually surprised that I hadn't done this one before. Um, this is, is this the shorter word now? Is this a woot? I don't think it's a woot. Um, but it's Woot, W-O-O-T. They actually sell a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and, um, they also do, I think I've talked about the bags of crap before. So, um, it, it's, they're part of Amazon now and they literally sell, they're kind of a lot, they're a lot like Amazon where they sell just a lot of everything. And occasionally they will do what's called a bag of crap. Um, and so it used to be $5, it's $10 now, but still. So what you do is, um, you know, if you're able to sign up and it's on Twitter, um, well, I mean, it's on their website, but they, they advertise it on Twitter. Um, if you're lucky enough to get a bag of crap, because they go, I mean, they literally go in seconds, the, you know, people love them. And so what you do is you pay the $10 and they will send you a box of, just the most random things like um and I got one not too long ago which was actually really nice I got a USB hub in it um we got a um oh what all did we get in it we got some um um the sanders for like a belt sa sander um we got the USB hub we got some sponges which was nice we needed the sponges um I think we got like a random kids t-shirt. Um, I mean, it's super random, like the randomest thing you could ever find. We got a, um, we got a toilet brush in one once. Um, what else have we gotten in there that was interesting? Oh, we got a USB, um, well, you can't see it from, it's behind the thing, but we got a USB, uh, Bluetooth speaker, which was really nice, actually. Um, there was one time it was just like, a dozen shirts and two of them I think ended up being um the right sizes for us so and the rest we just gave to Goodwill so that that's the thing so it's like super random I mean you could get like you could get like 10 rolls of toilet paper I don't know or you could get like um I, I don't know you could get I don't know anyway it's just really random and so what what we do is you know we'll get the bag of crap you know keep what we want to keep and then 
the rest will end up giving to Goodwill. So it doesn't get wasted or anything. You know, somebody will end up using it. Um, but yeah, so, wow. This ended up being really, really long-winded, and I apologize. But Woot, anyway, um, they also do t-shirts, like I said. And they, what happens is people will send in designs, and, um, you know, Woot will print them. And, you know, I guess they split whatever. So, you know, and they'll be really funny, nerdy designs. Like, something like this, like, Big Sur Intensive Sparks, was not on Woot, but this is the kind of humor that it would be. Um, you know, really, really silly humor, nerdy humor, um, a little bit of everything. And so, and I've gotten many a Woot shirt in the past. Uh, one of my favorites is it has an at at, like from Star Wars, and in the middle it has two little at signs. Yeah. So, it's at at. But yeah. That is my favorite Woot shirt. I think I still have it. So, but I, I don't... <clears throat> um, most of my Woot shirts are a little old, so I don't end up wearing them on, on camera a lot, but who knows, maybe, maybe you'll find a, find me wearing a Woot shirt later. But anyway, super long-winded, that was Woot shirts, so that is the non situ website of the week. Okay, that was a ramble, and I apologize, but, Yeah. Alright, so let me go ahead and do the B-Fact of the Week, and then I think I will let you guys go. Uh, as far as I know, I should be able to, to record next week. I can't think of anything that would be in the way. Um, next couple of weeks should be fine. I, I don't think I really have much of anything. I don't think I have much of anything going in October. Um, November will be busy. Excuse me. Uh, November will be busy. There's probably going to be two weekends, one or two weekends, uh, depending on how I film, that I won't be able to record. And then I shouldn't have anything until after the new year. So after that, it should be fine. Um, but yeah, that that's kind of my plans, like um, video plans, I guess, for kind of the rest of the year, which is weird to think because it's only the end of September. But, you know. Anyways, uh, sorry, I'll stop looking outside. It's it's still, the trees are still going. But, uh, but yeah, and thankfully, um, I mean, I know Ian was terrible. Um, thankfully, all of my friends and family members that I know um, in Florida are all okay. Um, some don't have power, some do. Um, some have some damage, some don't. So, you know, um... I had uh, one friend of mine who uh, evacuated himself to Tallahassee for a day, and um, they came back, and everything was good. So, so yeah, um, so yeah, that's good. I mean, you know, uh, obviously it's it's awful, and I, I feel for all the people who were affected. I was in Orlando when Charlie and Francis and Jean came through, and so uh, I understand how devastating a hurricane can be. Um, you know, and hopefully everybody will be able to, you know, pick up and clean up, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, clean up and move along. Ugh. Not mean to get uh, kind of emotional there. Anyway, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, back on to, I guess, happier things, uh, for B-Facts. How about wait, a little kitty break. There we go. I had a kitty break. God, she's so soft. So after, she's... I wish I could show you guys how soft she is, but, like, after Paul uh, brushes her, because I can't brush her correctly, uh, he, with her, you have to brush really, really hard, and I can't do it. I cannot brush hard enough to really get that fur out, so that's kind of a, that's kind of a hubby thing. Um, but, man, once, once she gets brushed, she's, like, just so soft, like, Angora sweater soft, like, Angora Rabbit Soft. If you've ever if you've ever felt Angora fur. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so the B facts. Uh, propolis Propolis? I'm gonna guess it's propolis. Uh, is a sticky substance that bees collect from the buds of trees. Bees use it to weather weatherproof the hive against drafts or in spots where rain might leak in. Yeah, well, today would be a good time. Uh, but yeah, 
So, there we go. That is our B fact of the week. And still ended up being not too terribly long, even though I rambled a bit about uh, Woot. Um, but I guess that's about it. So, um, thank all you guys for watching me. If you watch me all the way through, I seriously, seriously appreciate it. Um, just really, if you watch me at all, I appreciate it. Um, so from me and from Soft Soft Kitty over here, from Selena, I guess we will talk to you guys later. Bye.